power product and quotient rules with negative exponents. Simplify. So I have a fairly complicated um, expression here with exponents. I want to simplify it, okay? And I want my answer to only have positive exponents, no negative exponents. So what I'm going to do first, okay, since this parenthesis is the more complicated of the two, I'm going to work on this by itself for a second, okay, before I try to multiply this in. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply this exponent of negative 3 using the power rule, okay, to every factor inside the parentheses. So I'm going to do negative 3 times x to the negative 1. That's going to give me x to the positive 3, multiplying the exponents there. Negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3. Now I'm going to do the u. Positive 2 times negative 3 will give me negative 6 as an exponent for the u. In the denominator, I'm going to have 2 to the negative 3, okay, applying this negative 3 to the 2. And then the z is positive 2 times negative 3, or z to the negative 6. Now I'm going to rearrange everything to get rid of these negative exponents. So wherever I see a negative exponent, I'm going to flip that factor. Um, into kind of the opposite spot, numerator, denominator, or I'm going to do the reciprocal, okay? So the 3 has a positive exponent. It's fine where it is, the x to the third, sorry, okay? But this u to the negative 6, it's not happy up there in the numerator. It wants to be downstairs because of the negative exponent. So I can flip it downstairs to the denominator, and when I do that, I can change the sign on the exponent from negative 6 to positive 6. This one, 2 to the negative third, wants to be upstairs in the numerator because of the negative exponent. So this is going to be 2 to the positive third upstairs, changing the sign on the exponent. And the z is going to be upstairs, okay? And it's going to be to the positive 6, changing the sign on the exponent when, when I move it. Okay, so now we'll just do one more step, okay? This 2 to the 3rd is just 2 times 2 times 2, or 8. So I'm going to replace that 2 to the 3rd with an 8. Then I have x cubed and z to the 6th all over u to the 6th, okay? Now I can take this entire expression, okay? and replace it with this more simplified expression, okay? So now I'm going to have xz to the fifth, and I'm going to put it over 1 and make it a fraction, since this one's a fraction, just so I can keep my numerators and denominators lined up together. And then I'm going to replace this second one with this more simplified version. So 8 x cubed times z to the sixth all over u to the sixth. Now I'm going to do my multiplication, okay? So in the numerator, I have 1x factor times three more x factors over there. So that's going to be x to the fourth, okay? There aren't any other coefficients or constants out here to multiply the 8 by, so I'm just leaving the 8, right? x times x cubed is x to the fourth. Um, that's the product rule, okay? Right? The, this x has kind of an implied or hidden exponent of 1, and the product rule says if I'm multiplying uh, expressions with the same base, I can add their exponents, so 1 plus 3 is 4. Okay, so these z's, right, z to the fifth times z to the sixth, again, add the exponents. So that's z to the eleventh. And in the denominator, one times u to the sixth is just u to the sixth. I don't have any common factors, top and bottom, right, x and z in the numerator, u in the denominator. So I can't cancel any factors, top and bottom, so that's my final answer.